item on the agenda is consider approval of a not of a one-time wage adjustment to all full-time employees. Motion. Second. Mr. Wicker. I'd like to make yes. a let me read something about that first. It's, it's to approve a one-time wage adjustment for $100 for all full-time employees to be paid in one lump sum. Jackie made the motion. Okay. Mr. Wicker. Yes. Mr. Mash. Yes. Mr. Webb? Yes. Mr. Bishop? Yes. Uh, the next item on the agenda, uh, consider approval to allow Keith Brock and Sharon Browning to do a performance metric study on the Convention Center project. The total right. cost to be $15,7500 uh, for physical court and $7,500 for the uh, City of Lebanon. Uh, the reason that I uh, chose Keith and Sharon was uh, uh, I had a discussion with, with the mayor about it. Uh, and Keith's been in this community for many, many years and has written um, grants for our county for the past 14 years. In those 14 years, we've received $2,072,000 million, two million from state and local grants. Um, the study that we're talking about having Keith and Sharon doing will involve things very similar to what grants or <coughs> grant writing is about. And uh, there's only been a couple of grants I know Keith hadn't gotten, and I don't think a lot of them have been his been his fault. I think it's just uh, uh, the time of the grant that it was written. And there's, like I say, he's been very successful with it. Uh, this study will be very similar in a lot of ways to the grant writing part of it. So I couldn't think of anybody that knows our community better than Keith and Sharon, and I think we'll get a, a study that will show whether or not it's something we need to do. Uh, you know, this is something that's been going on and been brought up for the past 20 years, I think, in our community to do something to, to grow the community. And, and um, every time it, it gets going, it's, there's always questions, you know, what about this, what about that? Well, hopefully this study will, will be the answer to the questions that we get, and hopefully we can get it, make it happen. So uh, that's why we've chose Sharon and Keith, and I appreciate them taking the, uh, taking the opportunity to do it. Motion. Second. Second. And uh, I reiterate what he said. You two guys have been great with all that you've done. So I don't question your intent or your ability. Yeah. Uh, anything we've ever asked of you has been over the top. So, and, and Keith brought up a good point too, sharing with you earlier with, with your past, the, the, the tent rental and, and everything you all had. You've been at so many different venues. You, you've been everywhere that you know they've hosted all different events so you know i think that background will also help with this for 16 years we've covered all uh, the lots of different types of things and with something that we've been in a lot of different buildings and, buildings and, uh, and then locally uh, i can think of probably 15 uh, different venues that would You don't gain some knowledge, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. We appreciate you all. So we got a motion, Mr. Wicker. Or Mr. Mayor, <coughs> motion, I'm sorry. Yes. Mr. Wicker? Yes. Mr. Bishop? Yes. Mr. Webb? Yes. Dennis? You know, there's one, one more issue with this. I've asked the court to consider this. I have to say this to the media, too. You know, one of the one of the big drill down things that we're going to be doing as part of the study is interviewing people in the community, the governmental leaders, uh, this report, city council, different people in the know as to uh, what they feel about this convention center because we're going to go into it with a neutral type attitude. We're certainly for it. We're certainly for the progressive uh, abilities that we have in this community. But be thinking about your answers, what you really want this to do, what you feel about it, because we're pointedly going to be asking you some questions about it, not necessarily on the record, 
but we're wanting the ideas on which directions we should be going with this study too. Sharon and I have talked about this. If there's one thing, if there's one thing that we're kind of dubious about, we think that we can do this study probably within three, three to four months of time. We thought maybe three months of research and then maybe a couple of three weeks of putting it together in a good, in a good bound form, similar to what we've done in the past with regard to grants and different things. This is our solid waste management plan that we've done. And uh, something that we can, a hard copy that we can hand you folks as leaders, but also a presentation with key succinct talking points as to what we found out in our study. If we're dubious about one thing, it's getting it done within a period of time. But if we do it, we're just getting wages, really, just getting wages, during a time when we don't have a lot to do. And uh, it'll be a part-time part activity for Sharon and I. But we're gonna give you more time and we're getting paid for it. You can bet on that. And uh, if we run over, it's still the same money. If whatever it takes, that's what it'll take. But we'll drill down and we'll get a good report by which you can make good decisions and uh, something that's for the good and the benefit of the county and all the people involved. We know you will. I, I did. Good. I did have a call from a couple constituents, mm -hmm. and they said, "Well, they're already, you know, county employees." But I uh, let them know that you all work part time, and this will be done separate from what you normally do for the county. So I think people need to understand that. Yeah, we work three days a week. And we don't want to work full time, and we really can't work full time because it costs the physical court a lot of money to bring us on full time with benefits, retirement insurance. We don't need that. So we just do it on contract with the fiscal court, the fiscal court in, in our time. Now we will use our offices because we have a place to sit and the computer to work on. But other than that, it'll be done on our time and you'll get value for your, you'll get more than value for your money spent. And it'll be a really good study. A lot of it is uh, easy. Uh, what does it cost to maintain the facility? Do we need a person to manage it? Do, well, what's, what's the electricity sewer for similar sizes? You know, all that needs is relief. And I'm a scientific, organized, scientific type mind. And that'll be easy. But what's going to be hard is determining what's best for a community based on what we want as residents of the community. It's what I've said. You know, you can't hire an outside firm to do what we're going to do <coughs> with, from you. with the experience she has and with the mind that I have and the experience of living here 51 years myself, we know basically who to go to and who to ask. The question is how to drill down and get the answers. I'm what sure you'll do a good job. Well, thank, you. Good. thank you for taking a task. Thank you, Chair. Thank you all. Item number five, consider approval of the second reading to amend Marion County Ordinance 2009-410.04 to reflect a change in time of Sunday liquor sales from 12 noon to 10 a.m. as applied only to restaurants. Before we vote, do we have, is there any comments or anybody? Anybody got any? I don't suppose. Is a bar considered with a restaurant that's having food in there? If, if, if they serve food, food, I understand. Yeah, Mr. Quayle. Yes. Mr. Masters. Yes. Mr. Fish. Yes. Mr. Wigger. Yes. Yes. Item number six, consider approval of budget transfer to the road <laughs> department in the amount of $100,000 and the detention center of $100,000. Motion. Second. Mr. Masters. Yes. Mr. Bishop. Yes. Mr. Wicker. Mr. Quick. Yes. Names. Item number uh, seven, review and approve the annual budget submitted by the Marion County Water District for 2019. Uh, Motion. I think I sent that out. Y'all look at it. Yes. Second. Mr. Bishop. Yes. Mr. Wicker. Yes. Mr. Masters. Yes. Mr. 
Yes. Yeah. Item number eight, you all did get a copy of this, I guess a couple weeks ago, Jimmy brought it to us. Uh, review approve annual report submitted by the Marion County Sheriff's Department for 2019. Y'all get a chance to look at it. It's very similar to the previous year. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Yes. Item number nine, consider approval of supplemental salary allocation in the amount of twenty three thousand nine sixty to begin new year for the sheriff's department. This uh, this is uh this every, every, every year to yeah. 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 Motion. Mr. Bishop. Yes. Mr. Mash. Yes. Mr. Wicker. Yes. Mr. Quell. Yes. yes. Item number 10 is just to review county budget for 2019. I think, Chad, you just brought that to us a couple of yeah. yeah. no, so this week. So the next meeting, we'll just. Over. Yeah. We'll get to next time. If you need any information between now and the next meeting. Please Do we it. have it yeah, on this? Right? Yeah, it's in there. Yeah, it's in yeah, there. I've got last year's in there, and then I've got the uh, profit and loss for the last 12 months in there. But you can look at the real number. I've, yeah. I've itemized it more. Instead of lumping categories together, I uh, broke them down. Broke them down to where it's so I ran out of room basically. <coughs> Can't wish to feel free. Sound good. Everybody get the cell phone in case it's off. What do we do? Thank you, buddy. Yes, sir. Thank you, Judge. Number 11 is consider approval to relocate and to bid the relocation of the fire tire to the fairground property. Is, this, is there a, like a time frame on this? Or, uh, so uh, it's, or, uh, I guess we'll just bid it out and see what happens. And uh, see how quick we need to get it moved. Uh, time to let. Originally, when the, when it was put in, I was told it was a grant. Uh, Rick, Ricky. So. Be no, it be no ties on that some way, will it? Yes, it's got to be put back and we have to all right. Motion to move. Second in motion. Thank you. Mr. Quill? Yes. Mr. Bashman? Yes. Mr. Wigger? Yes. Mr. Bishop? Yes. Yes. No. John Thomas and myself met with Ricky and we looked at a place. Suitable. Got a suitable site. The fairgrounds and Ricky, I think he said it was okay. Uh, you are going to bid it out? Yeah, we are going to bid it out. You need a motion to bid it? We're good. Yeah. Okay. Number twelve, consider approval to bid uh, the only bridge. We have some. We've had a change in this. We we've, we've been made aware that there's some. Uh, the Horn Lane Bridge is in a uh, the seven year road plan to be replaced. Uh, that'd be some some funds that will be uh, the state will take care of doing that. So there's really no need to bid that bridge at this time. Uh, they've they said they were going to do it. Uh, Phillips Lane Bridge, we bid, we bid that bridge for the 80-20 funds. Uh, the problem we're having with that, the people that bid that bridge is uh, Hornback Construction. And we've been notified by them that they are, uh, as of this week or next week, they're no longer doing business. So they won't, they're, they're, they're retiring. They're getting out of the bridge business. So that's forcing us to have to... Uh, uh, Rebid the bid that we had from them, so um, we're going to rebid the Phillips Lane Bridge. I'm kind of afraid that uh, they were such good uh, contractors that we're probably looking at more money, which it's 80 20 bridge money. We get grants for that every year, so uh, we'll just have to rebid it out and see where we're at on that. Is any of their uh, group going to I thought continue on? on or is, don't uh, Jimmy, know. Jimmy's talked to them, and we tried to talk them into <laughs> In doing this bridge, but uh, we've been waiting for an answer from the state on the whether or not this bridge is going to qualify, and they haven't given us a definite answer on that yet. So um, the problem with it, it's just narrow. It's a, yeah. anybody's been out there, that bridge is extremely narrow. Uh, it's hard to turn a truck on it, uh, yeah, emergency not. vehicle, fire truck. Uh, it's just a really narrow bridge. So that's why we've we're we're trying to get that in replaced. The other bridge we had on here is Tucker Road. We're going to, we talked about it before the meeting, we're going to apply for some emergency funds on that. 
that was a bridge that was taken over in 1988 that uh, an individual had put in and actually was not even on the list of bridges in our county. Uh, Jimmy met with, uh, what's the guy, Kemper, David Kemper, called us and was not even aware that bridge was, was a, a county bridge. And we went and looked at it and they posted it immediately for a three ton, is that right, Jimmy? So uh, Scott Spalding had kind of wanted to, to take a school bus across it, so we can't do that. So that's the next, we're hoping we might be able to get emergency funding on that bridge, so we're gonna hold off and, and try to hopefully get a grant to, to do that bridge as well. So really the only bridge that we have on here that we're gonna bid is, is rebid is Phillips Lane. Is the 8020 money gonna continue? It continues, and we, we did end up getting our 8020 from last year. We did get it submitted in time, so we didn't lose any of the funding at all. So, <coughs> so well, if history's any lesson, uh, the bids will be higher because one box always. Well, no, that's why uh, we didn't have a list of any, anybody else that had ever done it. And actually, I, I sent to the uh, the state sent me a whole contractor list, and there's 120 bridge builders across the state of Kentucky. Well, years, so, years ago, we had several people bid them, but Horn Bike hadn't bid them all so bad. That yeah. I guess it quit coming. I know. So we're going to have to either send it out to those folks and did hopefully ever, get a get did, a. Did good you ever bid. check on that company that was going to do that non rush branch up there? I think they're on the Case list. County. They're on the list. So, like I say, there's 120 other builders. Just finding one that'll be reasonable and be good. We want it. We want it done right. You know. Homebody done a good job and they did it quick. Yeah, exactly. They didn't waste any time. So excellent job. Motion to bid. Second. Mr. Bishop. Yes. Mr. Quayle. Yes. Mr. Quayle. Yes. Mr. Bishop. Yes. 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 Item number 13, consider approval to hire the following for medical department at the <coughs> detention center. Ashley Stiles as administrative assistant. Trina Lee RN as health services administrator. Leandra, uh, how you say that Barry, Avendo, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> LPN, Avendo, Avendo. Close enough. <laughs> number, number Leandra. <laughs> Uh, number four is Alicia Fulkerson, LPN. I'd like to make one note for it. The Trina Lee, that this, that's not the Trina Lee that's already on staff. It's yeah. two different Trina Lees, right? Isn't that her? Yeah, no, no, you're talking about Tina Lee. Tina, oh, it's yeah. Tina? Yeah. Okay, Tina, okay. Yeah, Tina Lee, yeah, Tina. <coughs> Tina. Okay, I knew it had me confused a little bit there at first. Yeah. Okay, that's all. I made a motion. Second. Mr. Bash. Yes. Mr. Bash. Yes. Mr. Quicker. Yes. Mr. Quayle. Yes. Nice. <laughs> this is another uh, item 14. We discussed this at the previous meeting. Uh, the city of Lebanon has recently uh, contracted. I think the mayor's at the last meeting they got they got it okay to do. It's uh, with a venue uh, recovery agency. I, uh, I did try to. Uh, bargain with them but there was no bargaining they said if they they got nine other counties that they do this with and if they bargain with us they had to bargain with everybody so uh, 40 percent is what their fee is uh, and uh, I think it's something that we need to do motion second Mr. Master. yes Mr. Wick yes Mr. Quayle yes Mr. Bishop yes Mr. Item number 15 is consider approval to hire Sean McElroy as full-time security officer from 36 to full-time at the detention center. Motion. Second. Mr. Masterson. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Wicker. Mr. Yes. 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 McElroy. I said McElroy. It's Michael Boy. Michael Boy. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that, Barry. Item number 16, consider approval of the 2019 Marion County holiday schedule. Uh, we did discuss earlier about the uh, election day versus Veterans Day. I think we decided to do with the Veterans Day, if y'all like. Uh, uh, it's kind of hard for everybody to take off election day. The building's open. We got a couple employees that come in anyway. So uh, I think we put, look like we put uh, Veterans Day uh, instead of Election Day. Motion. Second. Mr. Bishop. Yes. Mr. Master. Yes. Mr. Wick. Yes. Mr. Yes. 
Item 17, uh, Department of Reports. Uh, Jimmy, I think he turned the report in. Yes. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Yes. Mr. Yes. Yes. Mr. Yes. Yes. Two or three months ago, I told y'all the cops sure was going to come grind out there. I ain't got them out there yet, but they're supposed to be coming in the next week or two. We want to try to help trouble the children over there to, to help them out and help us too. Okay? Me and y'all been out there. <coughs> okay, so. Yeah, that ice storm we had kind of really filled it up. The snow we got the other day, it was pretty slick. I believe it tested us all, tested our equipment, our people, everybody. I think we've done a pretty good job. I think everybody's done a pretty good job. And that's about it. Sounds good. You did do a good job. Did we? Yeah. We had a little accident there in Low Ready, wasn't our fault. We're getting in, trying to get it to work. Yeah. Another thing on here, uh, Sheriff Clements recovered what 50 signs that we. Yeah. Uh, we got 50 signs. So. I hope they slowed down on the signs. We got 50 signs. Uh, <laughs> so I guess that's, somebody's that's got to tear. That's the best they could get, all right. <laughs> somebody's got to tear those down so we can put them back up, I guess. Is anyway, going to be uh, uh, prosecuted? That's. Lisa, I guess you could probably help us with that. How will that be handled? <coughs> Actually, he's at the convention this week, the sheriff's convention. All right. Do you have any comments? Thank you. Give me opportunity. Thank you, Jim. <coughs> Thanks, Jason. Jason. Keith? Yes, we have a couple of those that we've got a request to rename. Uh, Al Alpha Herb and Lane. Manchester Rivers District is a, a road that was named Bethel Union Church Road. And we've got a request to change that name to Horizon Lane. And we do not currently have a horizon, so that'll be fine. It's a dead end road. There will only be one resident back that road. So that would be a request to change Bethel Union Church Road to Horizon Lane. Motion. Second. Yes. 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 The second request we have is uh, there is an unnamed lane in Magister Masterson District down at the Lowell River Mobile Home Park out on Central Hamilton Road. And uh, it's never been named, but it needs to be because there's a lot of units back there that have their individual physical addresses. And the request is the name is Lucy, L-U-C-Y, Lucy Lane. Like. Yeah, I spoke with Tom Brown and asked him to let the city council name that road, and that was what he came up with. So it's Lucy Lane, motion on that. Second. I'd like to qualify that, that lane part of it a little bit. They originally wanted to name it Lucy Way, but if we go by the strictest definitions that are given in our P911 ordinance, in order to name it a way, if you've got the four points of the compass, then a way has to go to an oblique angle from the four points. And uh, this goes direct east, due east. So it needs back. to be a way, according, it needs to be a way. I want to call it by that way. All right, I'll explain that to Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'll tell him to move the entrance 45 degrees up and call it way. Settles Hollow and Settles Road. 
both Settles Road and Settles Hollow were grandfathered in when we did our ordinance. Probably if you asked the name of Settles Hollow Road today, we would not approve it because the postal people wouldn't approve it. They're too similar, the names are too similar, and it's actually caused problems. Well, uh, they've asked us to uh, maybe consider changing the name, and I kind of threw it back on them and said, well, talk to the people on the road, and see if you can come up with a name, and then let your magistrate suggest that we change the name of the road. So that's currently where it is, so we may be changing that. I would suggest that we change it. Now, to give you an example of how we won't approve that, uh, Master Wicker called me twice today yeah. on the name for the Bethel Union <coughs> Church change. What was the first one they wanted? Sky, sky some skyline. Plain drive. Skyfall. Then they called back. Skyfall. Skyfall. Sky yeah. Well, Skyfall is too much like Skyline. Uh, skyline, and the postal people would not approve it. So we decided on Horizon, which we don't have. So it kind of, we've kind of got guidelines that we have to follow. <coughs> needs to be changed. We have a Jason Lane. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You got a job to do now. <laughs> Anything else, Keith? Thanks, sir. Thank you. Thank you all.